Okay, Pastor Bob and Tim, here is your grouping in the foreground on a sheet of plastic in the middle of our showroom. The tallest column is 36 inches. I'm actually going to elevate each of these columns with uh, two inches of PVC. You know, I use three cross sections of PVC, one inch PVC, and then the concrete's allowed to flow underneath each column. But still some of the bottom of each column will be covered in concrete. Of course, the concrete has to grab a good two inches of it, so. You'll have 32 inches, or 34 inches rising above the concrete in the tallest column. I went for the high contrast uh, stuff and pretty much cherry picked what, what I have here. I want to get in close so you can see some of this. That's really got a dramatic pattern on it. This piece here is especially heavy in girth. You'll notice that three of these pieces have the white top like this one. Now I'm going to have to cut a little bit of the top edge of this because it slants in order for water to flow uniformly. So I'll take as little of that as I can and still get the water to come up over the top. I think I know what you were talking about. I looked at the videos that you talked about the colors that you like and what you saw. Oh, there's some of the shadow here that you're not seeing. I'll move that out of the way. See, this has the blonde top as well. And I'm going to have to cut a little bit of this to make the water flow down that side, but I'll leave as much of that blonde as I can. I think that looks cool. Especially since I have it on the two flanking columns as well as the top one. I think it lends a little balance to the whole thing. But here's a big heavy piece. This is actually, I think, a triple piece. There's a beginnings of a third column at the bottom there. I love the sway that this second tallest piece has and the way those lines follow the lines of the tall piece. I've been working on this all morning. And that's the kind of thing, see how these gaps kind of disappear when you move from side to side? Lining up those group, those uh, columns like that in the grouping makes, makes it interesting and holds interest long term. I didn't want to go with the perfect pyramid bookends, you know, with the... I, d I ended up with this uh, tall slender piece out here on the left because I was trying to avoid just the perfect pyramid you know and this is going to again have to come down the top of that will have to come down a little bit for the water to get down every side of it so this is one vantage point or one what I consider the primary viewing angle maybe as you walk into the place and then if you get around the side you'll see it holds interest from every angle I think this composition holds up 360 degrees. This again being your primary viewing angle. Now, what you're not getting in the back here because of the lighting in the room is some of the color and contrast. It's hard to, hard to see because this is the dark side of the room right now, but I'll show you the best I can. A lot of this high contrast, high impact stuff and I just decided to make the coolest grouping I could with what I've got here and then start the design process on the next fountain that comes after this. Alright, I'll get this posted and see what you think.